Hello guys, this is Sido. Welcome to katiatutorialcat.com. Uh, we're gonna be. Uh, uh, this is, by the way, this is uh, the video four on uh, the series of uh, Katia V5 pre-training. Pre-training, okay. Don't confuse with the actual training. So this is not the, the actual training yet, but it's very useful. And make sure you watch the other videos, okay, before you start on this one. Alright, so now let's continue where we left last time. And last time we created a, a sketch on the face, uh, um, um, on this face, as you see, in this face area, in, yes, that one right there, that's the one we created. Now we just did a shaft, basically it will revolve um, around, around the axis, so that's how it looks like, cool, right? Okay, so now, <clears throat> so that's how it looks like the shaft. And the tree, basically, is very flexible. You can move around anywhere. Even you can hide it by just clicking F3, by the way. The tree, if it's bothering you somehow. And you can resize it. All that we're going to talk about it on the training. <coughs> now, let's make some edge fillet. And we've seen several ones on the Maybe uh, that was the second video, I think we seen that. We're gonna do it again, some more in here. Also, keep an eye on your left side, the tree. Each feature we add is gonna be added on the bottom of the tree. So, we, if we do a pocket, that will be a feature. If we do a hole, that will be a feature. If we do... Uh, each fillet, like the one we're gonna do right now, this will be a feature. Okay, we'll talk about that all later. Don't worry about it. Okay, now let's do this. Uh, so that's how it looks like. So nice, clean. Okay, now let's go to either sketcher. And instead of now, I mean, I just selected the face, and it will take me to the where I want it. Let me put small square. Now, again, as I said, this is Sketcher Workbench. Okay, this is different workbench than what we've been in a few seconds ago. So now this workbench, we only draw. Um, basically, this is where we draw our 2D dimensions. Okay, so now I'm just making sure that my square is in the proper uh, place trying to dimension and I already have some stuff that some dimensioning in mind just cheating some previous stuff that I did okay now putting the sides okay all right so so now, okay, I'm just trying to make uh, the constraints are green, so so it will not get messed up later when I'm trying to finish up my design, because once it's constrained everything, that means see all green, that means it's not gonna be movable or changeable later on my design so now I will go out to uh, to the part design workbench okay now this is where the fun part where you can make the 3d stuff you know so now what we are gonna do is a pocket pocket basically it will it will remove the parts and instead of filling some parts like you know the pad that we just did like the one that you see right now that's a uh, filling but now we're gonna make a pocket where where it removes some of the of the parts so now let me just fix this first hold on it seems like I did not well actually it's okay but okay let's do a mirror Okay, so now this is the mirror of the one that I did. So the reason I'm doing mirror is just to save some time. I don't want to create the same stuff, you know, 
uh, from the beginning. So now I have a mirror. I just basically made a mirror of this. So just copy it to another word. It's kind of a copying thing. Um, now let's make the copy. Uh, let's make the pocket. I mean, um, well, before we do that, let me just show you real quick something. Now, if you see there in the tree, there is a sketch eight and there is a sketch nine. If I uh, define that on a sketch see underlined that means defined there and if I go to my pocket it will give me an error that will not recognize that okay and that's because that's not the actual sketch we'll talk about that later uh, but let's go back to our actual which the sketch 8 I mean sketch 9 I mean alright so now let's see if I hit the pocket icon it will give me see those two sides see the right one it looks like it's cutting but the left one is not cutting so let's go fix that because I messed up on my when I was doing my 2D it's not close enough close enough so I have to make it closer to the geometry to my uh, my so I have to delete all my dimensioning other <coughs> otherwise it's gonna be hard <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's gonna be hard to to dimension so I'm gonna make it change the dimension uh, just the length I will sh make it shorter so it will be closer you see that you see that okay so now looks like fine let's go make a pocket 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 all right now okay notice that now it's cutting see see when I do preview so now we hit okay you see the both sides so there is a cutting in the edges so that's how it looks like okay now you see on the tree the pocket when I double click so I can make the changes if I need you know so I just increased the the size of the pocket there okay so that how it looks like it looks good not bad all right let's do uh, okay so that's it then we're gonna finish up the next part okay